Gene Fulmer is our Sports Professional of the Year. Gene always loved to fight. Born and raised in Utah, Gene's father gave him a pair of boxing gloves when he was six years old. By the time he was eight, Gene was standing on a table punching a training bag that was bigger than him. At 12 years old, he was fighting amateur bouts against 16-year-old boys. Gene's manager during many years of his career was his mentor, Mark Jensen, who encouraged youth in West Jordan to enter amateur boxing. He may have been the best conditioned boxer who ever entered the ring, never using alcohol or even trying cigarettes. Conditioning was most important in Gene's regimen, which started at 5 a.m. with a 3 to 5 mile run before he reported to work by 7 a.m. at the Kennecott Copper Mine for a full day's work. Afterwards, Gene would go on to the gym to work out and then on to home to do his farm chores, breeding and caring for mink, Weimaraner puppies, and quarter horses to supplement his income. He was in bed by 9 p.m. to be ready to start the same routine the following day, with Sunday being his only day off from training. Gene turned pro when he was 20 years old. He says so he could fight more often. Although he was soon drafted into the Army and sent to Korea, he was able to resume his career upon his return. As a professional fighter, Gene won his first 29 bouts, 19 by knockout, with 11 of those in the first round. Between 1957 and 1963, he fought 13 times for the middleweight championship of the world. On January 2nd, 1957, one of the greatest fights ever. Gene pounded Sugar Ray Robinson for 15 rounds in Madison Square Garden to claim his first world championship. Four months later, he lost the title back to Robinson, but regained it when he beat Carmen Basilio in a savage 14-round bout. Gene retired from boxing in 1964, and with a record of 55 wins, 24 by knockout, 6 losses, and 3 draws. Gene has 4 children, 2 stepchildren, 11 grandchildren, and 8 great-grandchildren. Both of his brothers, Don and Jay, followed him into boxing. The work of the National MS Society is close to Gene's heart, since his only sister, Colleen Fulmer Tyson, passed away from MS in 2007. Gene Fulmer, one of the greatest. Gene's an every man's man, and maybe every woman's man. I mean, you know, women that like boxing, but he, he just was an everyday person, salt of the earth. It, it really it's one of those situations if you couldn't like Gene Fulmer then you couldn't like anybody now I'm not so sure that that's what the opponents in the ring felt but on the other hand when he was inducted in 1991 in the Bo International Boxing Hall of Fame uh, Gene B uh, was back in Canastoga New York where he goes every year for the Hall of Fame uh, is one of the most revered fighters of all time Gene has touched the lives of so many Utahns, so many people all over this country, and so many people all over the world. I don't think we could have made a better selection. Gene, uh, uh, so, many so many times uh, you've been referred to as the West Jordan Mauler and your nickname Cyclone, but I want you to know that uh, there are thousands, tens of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people who just know you as and we'll continue to know you as the champ.